A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. Arsenal have successfully become a force again under manager Mikel Arteta, and a new three-year deal represents a firm backing that he is the man to end the club's wait of more than 20 years for a Premier League title. It felt like there was little chance he would leave when his contract expired next summer, given the relationships he has built internally and the reassuring calm with which he spoke when discussing the deal. But previous links to Paris St. Germain and Barcelona perhaps showed the need to tie down Arteta. The whole machinery at Arsenal behind the scenes is behind both Arteta and sporting director Edu, who have found a way to be competitive against the Manchester City juggernaut running them close to the title last season. They also went close in the 2022-23 campaign, but it is now time to take the final step. After signing Raheem Sterling, Mikel Marino and Ricardo Calafiori, the Gunners have again strengthened, though question marks have remained over whether they should have signed a striker. This is a manager, squad, and backroom staff seemingly now capable of winning the biggest titles in England, and it is perhaps symbolic that a new deal comes before a North London derby against Tottenham. Mikel Arteta has agreed a new deal with Arsenal until 2027. The manager has been in charge since 2019 and has led the club to successive second-place finishes but had entered the final 12 months of his deal. Arteta called for calm last month regarding his contract situation, insisting his focus had been on the transfer window. His new deal comes before Arsenal's Premier League derby against Tottenham on Sunday. Since leaving a coaching role at Manchester City to take over from Unai Emery, Arteta, a former Arsenal player, has returned the club to being title challengers and, in 2020, won the FA Cup. Sky Sports News first broke the story that Arteta was expected to commit his future to Arsenal last month. His new deal comes on the eve of the Gunners' Super Sunday clash against fierce rivals Tottenham. In his first season in charge, Arsenal lifted the FA Cup in 2020, while they secured two Community Shield victories in 2020 and 2023. Analysis how head coach turned manager Arteta transformed Arsenal. Sky Sports News senior reporter Melissa Reddy. The advancement has been so pronounced and the transformation that effective. It probably slips the mind that during his first nine months at Arsenal, Mikel Arteta's status was simply head coach. The original idea was for him to focus on the team, but that was playing too small. Arteta wanted to breathe life, bravery, and direction into the club. When he was appointed, Arsenal were out of the Champions League, 10th in the top flight, and they did not possess a discernible DNA. Arteta could not simply coach them back to relevance. There needed to be drastic change. In September 2020, after intensive work to cure a culture of complacency and having demonstrated a wide-ranging ability to improve Arsenal beyond just on the grass, his title was altered to first-team manager. Arteta would run not just the team, but work in tandem with sporting director Edu on football operations, a relationship that is seen as the axis to which Arsenal's excellence spins. Together, they have transformed the club, and there is more to come. Arsenal's improvement under Arteta in numbers. In his first two seasons under Arteta, Arsenal finished in eighth spot. Their finish there in the 2020-21 season saw them miss out on European football for the first time in 25 years. After an improved fifth place finish the following year, they qualified for the Europa League before successive second place finishes behind Manchester City. It saw them return to Champions League competition for the first time since the 2016-17 season. The 2023-24 season saw Arsenal win their highest ever number of Premier League games, 28 amassing 89 points, just two behind Pep Guardiola's side. It is an addition of 33 points since Arteta's arrival, with each season showing a steady increase in points total. But perhaps the biggest jump has been in goal difference. Last season, Arsenal ended with a huge plus 62, scoring 91 goals and conceding just 29, the lowest in the Premier League. It is a huge increase from the plus 8 Arsenal had in the 2019-20 season, and still significantly higher than the plus 45 in the 2022-23 campaign, showing improvements in both attack and defense. Who has been signed under Arteta? Arteta's first transfer window was in January 2020, and Arsenal have spent almost £700 million on players since. The biggest outlay was Declan Rice from West Ham for A. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.